Launched for the first time in the western county of Kwail, what Pyongyang calls new tactical guided missile flew some 400 kilometers, putting a couple of key South Korean military bases in range. The move is seen as demonstration of its missile capabilities to Seoul. For details, let's turn to our Oh Jung Hee. This year, North Korea has conducted six test launches of short range projectiles, two in early May and four in the past two weeks. Among the recent four, two were test launches from a multiple rocket launcher, according to North Korean reports. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff say they each flew 250 and 220 kilometers. The other two tests were of tactical guided missiles. Believed to be similar to Russia's Iskander-class ballistic missiles, they each flew 600 and 450 kilometers. What draws attention is the latest launch. The two projectiles, which were seen by the South Korean military as a new type of short-range ballistic missiles, cut across North Korea from west to east, flying over the capital city of Pyongyang. Pundits say the regime showed how confident it is about its missile capabilities while showing how feasible it is for the regime to target most parts of South Korea's territory. The latest launch flew 450 kilometers, located roughly 300 kilometers away from the test site in Kwaye, is South Korea's Cheongju Air Base, where four F-35A stealth fighter jets are stationed. And the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, is stationed in Songju, about 400 kilometers away. It is the first time that the North fired missiles from the western county of Kwaye. Military authorities say this is to show that the North can fire missiles anywhere using a transporter erector launcher, making it harder to detect. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.